Have you ever wondered what is the best way to use podcast guesting to build your email list? I think a lot of times when we are first starting out as a podcast guest, it's really great to have a great call to action that says, hey, follow me on my social site, check out my website, here's all my information, here's my LinkedIn, like all the different platforms. Well, I'll tell you what, this is one of the things that I learned as a radio broadcaster, my 10 years in broadcasting. I'm Angel Tussie. I run the Need a Guest Facebook group where I help podcast guests find, find podcast guests find podcasts and podcast hosts find incredible guests. And this is the most critical piece of information. If you're going to use podcast guesting to grow your list, for lead generation, to build your business, to sell books, of course it works really well, converts really well if you're an author, a speaker, or a coach. But here's the critical thing, like the, if out of all the things that you ever learned about being a great guest, it isn't what camera should I use? What microphone should I have? Um, what's the technology? What's the number one question? What's my statement I should lead out with? It's how you close out the call. How, what is your call to action and what is your closing remark? Almost every podcast host is gonna ask you, where do we connect with you? Where do we follow up? Where do we get your book? And they're also gonna ask you, do you have any closing remarks? This is your chance. This is where lead gen happens. This is the, the time that you really start to build out your email list. Don't send them to somebody else's castle. Don't send them to another platform to go buy your book. Don't send them to a social site to follow you. Send them to your lead magnet where you get to capture their data. Right? Some place where they're gonna opt in. They're gonna give you their email address or maybe it's a text opt-in. Your job is to capture first party data. What does that mean? An email address, a phone number, a way that you can contact and reach out to that audience. This is where you generate leads, is having this great call to action that leads the audience to opt in to some information. I call it something for me, something for you, right? You get a free gift, you get a great resource, you get a prize, you get a bonus, right? You get a bonus, you get a bonus. I get your contact information. If I send them to my website where maybe they might be able to, you know, fuss around and somewhere in there opt in for something, they might get lost, they might leave, and they might never come back. If I send them to a social site where they can follow me, which is great for followers, but I have no way of reaching out, I have no way of contacting them, and I also have no way of knowing if those followers came from my podcast guesting. If I lead them someplace else to go and buy my book, they become their customer. And again, I miss out on generating leads and building my email list. So number one, you need to have a call to action that leads the audience to opt in to get something free in exchange for their contact information. Second, closing remarks. Have something prepared. I would, I would see my inc most incredible guests would like flub over this. When I would ask a closing remark, they would, they would just ramble or they wouldn't be prepared or they would just start rattling off all the different ways you can contact them. Make sure that your closing remark ties back into why the audience should connect with you. It can be a quote, hopefully yours, not somebody else's, but a great quote, a great call to action, and something that they're gonna find inside of that opt-in that when they give you their email address and opt-in that they're gonna get from you. Seriously, these two things, have a great opt-in and have a great closing remark and you will nail every podcast interview that you've ever done. You will crush it and you will absolutely leverage other people's audiences to build your own. I hope that helps. Follow me at needaguest.com. That'll take you right into my Facebook group. If you're looking to get booked on shows or you're looking for great guests for your show, needaguest.com is where all the action is. Cheers.